While most MMA fighters like Caro Parisian, nicknamed The Heat, and Joey Beltran named The Executioner, have really cool nicknames, others have insane nicknames that would send you into fits of rib-cracking laughter or absolute disbelief. In today's video, we're going to be digging deep into MMA history to bring you the craziest MMA nicknames you never knew about, from the UFC veteran who calls himself Sexy Ama, to the lightweight who goes by the nickname Flying Cockroach, it will be surprising what kind of nickname some MMA fighters have. Before we get down to business, be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any of our latest updates. All done, let's get this party started, shall we? Number 9, Twinkle Toes. No, this is not the start of a nursery rhyme. Twinkle Toes is indeed the nickname of one of the greatest MMA fighters in modern history. Dewey Franklin Trigg III is an American retired mixed martial artist, color commentator, pro wrestler, MMA referee, and TV host, who spent a 14-year-long career establishing himself as one of the best to ever do it. We know what you're thinking, how did an MMA fighter who is a one-time WFA welterweight champion and a one-time icon sport middleweight champion end up with the nickname Twinkle Toes? Well, we're just getting to that. In a 2011 interview, Frank revealed that he earned his nickname in 1997, which was around the time that he kicked off his professional career. According to the UFC veteran, he was in Japan for a fight, and during this fight, his then-manager asked a fangirl who was present which of the players she liked best. She responded by saying she liked the tall one with the tattoos best, Frank. However, half the guys in the ring fit that description. So in order to create a distinction, she called Frank the one with twinkly toes, and that was about that. In her defense, Frank had his toenails done at the time, so they were indeed twinkly. Well, whichever way, we are glad Frank's twinkly toes did not keep him from defeating about 80% of the opponents he faced in his career. Number 8, Uncle Creepy. No, you don't have to hold your breath for this one. There's a perfectly innocent explanation behind his nickname, and no, it does not end with Ian McCall being locked up behind bars. Ian, a retired American mixed martial artist, is well known for competing in the flyweight and bantamweight divisions of several prominent MMA promotions, including the Ultimate Fighting Championship, Risen Fighting Federation, and World Extreme Cage Fighting. Up until three years ago, when he retired, Ian provided us with quality entertainment in the ring, and as such, his time in the ring will be remembered fondly. Another thing we can simply not forget is about how this now retired MMA MMA fighter got his nickname, Uncle Creepy. If you think his name is crazy now, wait till you hear the story behind it. In a 2011 interview, Uncle Creepy revealed that we have his friend's son to thank for his hilarious alias. According to Ian, he had been teaching the toddler, who at the time was below the age of three, how to skateboard, and out of excitement, the boy kept calling out his name, Uncle Ian, Uncle Ian, and out of nowhere, Uncle Ian became Uncle Creepy. And what do you know? Kids really do say the darndest thing. From then on, the name struck, and even if Ian didn't particularly like it, he took it in good faith and even went ahead to grow an Uncle Creepy beard and create Uncle Creepy merchandise. Number 7. Monsta Lobsta While Alan Baroub is not much of a household name as the other names on this list, he certainly earned his spot on this list. I mean, the man's nickname was Monsta Lobsta. This now 46-year-old reached the peak of his career when he appeared in Season 5 of The Ultimate Fighter, and on the show referred to himself as a crustacean sensation. It appears that with Alan, the hilarious nicknames never stop. If it's any consolation, Alan's nickname comes from a good place. The MMA fighter is a Maine native who was very passionate about his roots, and since lobster fishing is a mainstay of the local economy in Maine, he probably thought it would be a good idea to incorporate that into his nickname. By the time he realized that calling himself Monsta Lobsta was not the best idea, it had already stuck, and all his attempts at a nickname change proved futile. To this day, Alan is still referred to as Monsta Lobsta by most members of the MMA community. Number 6. Ron Waterman If you were ever having a bad day, all you have to do is remind yourself that once upon a time, an MMA fighter nicknamed himself H2O Man, and we bet you will feel better. If Ron was a superhero, maybe he would have given Aquaman a run for his money with the nickname H2O Man but as an MMA fighter, we think not. Ronald Waterman, a former American mixed martial artist, professional wrestler, and celebrity member of the Team Impact Motivational Group, chose the nickname H2O Man 
in an attempt to spice up his last name and incorporate it into his MMA career. But, well, we know how that ended up. During his nine-year-long career that lasted between 1999 and 2008, H2O Man amassed an impressive number of notable titles and even became the only WEC super heavyweight champion. Ron really did leave an indelible mark in the MMA world before retiring in more ways than one. Number 5. Fancy Pants No, we're not kidding. In this not-so-distant past, an MMA fighter earned himself the nickname Fancy Pants. Lyle Beerbaum, a now-retired American professional mixed martial artist who rose to prominence during his days fighting for Strike Force, the World Series of Fighting, Elite XC, and King of the Cage, was known as Fancy Pants throughout his six-year professional career. While the term Fancy Pants is typically used to refer to individuals who perceive to be high-class in a pretentious way, Lyle earned his nickname for an entirely different reason. As far back as his early boxing days, Lyle was known to wear unusually colored, form-fitting shorts to his fights, and it didn't take long before the members of the MMA universe began calling him Fancy Pants. Of course, he didn't mind, because as he later revealed, the multicolored shorts were custom-made by his mother. You have to admit, that is by far the most heartfelt backstory ever. Number 4. Sexy Yama You have to admit, despite the fact that the nickname Sexy Yama is all shades of messed up as well as very amusing, it does have a nice ring to it. Yoshihiro Akiyama, aka Sung Hoon Chu, is a Japanese mixed martial artist and judoka. He is also the first person on this list who is still fighting professionally. Yoshihiro began his professional career in the early 2000s, and in record time, he had earned himself a spot in the MMA Hall of Fame, amassing victory after victory and even managing to affect a reign of terror as a welterweight during his Prime. But of course, Akiyama's impressive achievements are not the reason he made this list. At some point in his career, the UFC veteran decided he would make a play off his last name and nickname himself Sexy Yama. While we can see this name being a super cool stripper name, we just don't think anyone would take an MMA fighter nicknamed Sexy Yama very seriously. We love you, Yoshihiro, but Sexy Yama? Number 3. The Ginger with Intent to Injure This man's MMA nickname is The Ginger with Intent to injure. Need I say more? Aside from being a mouthful, I think we can all agree that this nickname certainly earned its spot on the crazy list. Rick Pfeiffer, aka the ginger with intent to injure, is an MMA fighter who represents the country of Canada. He began his professional career in 2013 and has participated in a total of 11 fights, recording 5 wins and 6 losses. His opponents include formidable MMA fighters like Michael Spawnlin, Zamir Safi, and Jared Silverthorne. We're not entirely sure how Rick came up with this nickname, but there is a 90% chance that the ginger part has something to do with his red hair and beard. Number 2. Scary Nickname What do you do when you badly want a scary nickname but can't come up with one? Easy. You nickname yourself Scary Nickname. Well, at least that's what this MMA fighter did. Jeff Nader, a middleweight fighter who up until recently was competing in Bellator, decided to nickname himself Scary Nickname. After several months of nickname brainstorming, failed to yield the desired result. Unfortunately, for quite some time, Jeff has been inactive in the world of professional MMA. We're not sure why, but one thing we know is that we cannot wait for this American martial artist to return to the ring. With a nickname like his, he'll no doubt put on an amazing show. Number 1. The Ninja of Love What comes to mind when you hear the nickname The Ninja of Love? A cheesy mascot? A baker who doubles as a karate teacher maybe? Well, we can't say for sure that came to your mind. We're absolutely sure you didn't think about a 5'7", former KOTC. Canadian bantamweight champion, Nick Dennis is a retired Canadian professional mixed martial artist who began his professional career in 2006. Despite the fact that he had a relatively short professional career that lasted for about six years, the Ninja of Love remains a household name till this day. Before going into retirement, the UFC veteran gained massive recognition for being a semi-finalist in the Sengoku Featherweight Tournament and for his knockout of the night victory in his debut fight in the UFC. Crazy nickname aside, Nick Pax won hell of a punch. While we would love to stay and tell you about Stevie Red Nose Burger and Kooky the Flying Cockroach Alvarez, we have come to the end of today's video. Which of these MMA nicknames do you think is the craziest? Which one made you laugh the hardest? Let us know in the comment section down below. Also, be sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!